Hello everyone, welcome to my ECG quiz. I posted this ECG a few days ago and asked about the rhythm. So here is my explanation. At the very first glance, it is obvious that the rhythm is abnormal. The QRS complexes are irregular. Not irregularly irregular, but regularly irregular. There is a sense of group beating here. But up to this point, right? What about this part here? So you see, there is a rhythm more to this ECG. If you recall my discussion about normal sinus rhythm from my first lectures, you will know that for a rhythm to be normal sinus, there should be a P wave before every QRS and QRS after every P wave. The PR interval should be constant, the R to R interval should be constant, and the P to P interval should also be constant. Since the P to P interval is constant here, like you can see 300, 150, 300, then again 300, 150, 100, 300, 150, 100. So the P waves are marching at the regular interval. It means the P waves are coming from the same focus. Since P wave is upright in lead 1 and lead 2, we can know for sure that it's coming from the sinus node. Now the R to R interval is not constant, meaning the P wave is not passing properly to the ventricles through the AV node. So it's safe to assume that there is some problem with the AV nodal conduction. This P wave conducted, this one blocked all of a sudden. Again, this P wave conducted, this one also conducted, but this one blocked again. This P wave conducted, this one also conducted, but this one blocked again. So we are dealing with some kind of heart block. But which one? The duration of PR interval is normal, around 120 milliseconds. So it's not first degree heart block. The PR interval is constant. So it's not second degree type 1 heart block where the PR interval keeps on prolonging until we see a drop beat. It's second degree type 2 heart block where the P waves conduct normally through the AV node but then all of a sudden there is a block without affecting the PR interval. So up to this point it's second degree type 2 heart block. But what about this part now? This P wave conducts, this one blocks. This P wave conducts, this one blocks again. Here, the type 2 heart block has converted to high degree AV block, that is 2 to 1 AV block, where for every 2 P waves, only one conducts to ventricles via the AV node, the other one block. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For a detailed discussion on heart blocks, I have already shared the video on my YouTube channel. The link is given below. For more such videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.